Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how to draw a parabola. Now, before we start the section, you must be familiar with all your grade 10 work on functions. Let us look at the following equation. You should know that you are doing a parabola because it is a square. Now, a square graph is a parabola graph. From your previous work, this is the information you should know. That if it's a positive A, I am a happy graph. And if it's a negative A, I am a sad graph. Other than that, the information is very similar. You need to do x-intercept. You need to do y-intercept. And then the turning points. Now in grade 10, you knew that the turning points was 0 and Q. But what we're working with here is P and Q. Now what is our P? Our P is what is near the X and our Q is what you know that was outside the equation. So what is the turning points of the following graph? The turning points of the following graph is 2 and 8. What is important is you need to realize that there is a minus sign there. But the standard equation is <coughs> f of x is equal to a into x minus p all squared plus q. Now that is the standard equation. Therefore, the x is related, but look at the sign. The minus that we have here is the minus that's in the equation, making p a positive. If I had, just for interest sake, x plus 2 all squared plus q, the turning point then would be minus 2. Why? Because it is x minus minus 2 all squared plus q. Now x and minus is from the equation, so the p is minus 2. Can you see the x and the minus? So what are we left with p? Is minus 2. Now same thing here. If we have x minus 2 all squared, then we know the x and the minus is from the standard equation. So p linking it up makes it 2. And then q it's plus 8. Remember q is the remainder. Right, now that gives us our turning points. What did this 8 actually do? When you worked with the standard graph, your standard graph is simply crossing over at 0, 0. What is the 2 doing? It's moving my graph 2 units to the right. What is the 8 doing? It's moving my graph 8 units up. Then, what is the minus doing? It's turning it upside down. So you end up with a graph that looks like this. What we're trying to show you is that you need to know, okay, from the standard graph, Q moves it up or down, depending if it's positive or negative, and P moves it left or right, depending on your sign. Now, going back to the drawing of the graph, the information I'm saying now, it will benefit you in understanding the information, in understanding how this is working. So it can show you more or less what should my graph look like. So at the end, you don't just draw randomly and then it looks wrong to you, but you just go on and on and on. Right, now, okay, so step one was my turning points. Step two is your x-intercept, which you should know from your previous work. How do, what does x-intercept mean? It means y is equal to 0. So I'm going to have 0 is equal to minus 2 into x minus 2 all squared my, um, plus 8. Let's just say that again. 0 is equal to minus 2, open brackets, x minus 2 all squared plus 8. If I bring the 8 over, I've got minus 8 is equal to minus 2 into x minus 2 all squared. Divided by 2, divided by negative 2, 
So I have x minus 2 all squared is equal to 4. Now, what you, know, what you should realize is that if you are doing solving for x, you can get rid of the brackets here and simplify, or you could simply see that the opposite of a square is a square root. Now this is the easiest of the options. So what would I have? I would have x minus 2, because this square cancels with the square root, is equal to 2. The square root of 4 is 2. But you would also have x minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Because remember 4 rooted is equal to 2 or minus 2. Then we have x is equal to 4. And on this side we have x is equal to 0. Now that is my x intercepts. It means that at this specific point y is 0. Right. Now we have our turning points and we have our x intercepts. Then we're going to do number 3, our y intercepts. y intercept means x is equal to 0. So we're going into the formula And wherever x is, we're putting 0. Now at this space, I would like to remind you that it is not simply 8. Like in other graphs, when it's a different form of a quadratic graph, it tends to be the last number. You just substitute and you can see, hey, you know what, it's always the last number. But you must be careful in just assuming that you can make a big mistake. It's safer to rather substitute your zeros in and then calculate it. So what do I have here? Minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So my coordinate is x is 0, y is 0. Where did I get my x is 0 from? Because we did y intercept and at y intercept x was 0. So this 0 is from the intercept. So what are the coordinates that we have? We have 4 and 0, we have 0 and 0, we have 0 and 0, and we have 2 and 8. Now what else we should check? We should check the sign in front. It is a negative, which means that I am on a said graph. Now if you are going to draw it, Right, let us write down the coordinates we have. We have 4 and 0, we have 0 and 0, 0 and 0 we had got twice because from the x-intercept and the y-intercept. If they are the same thing, you don't have to write them down twice. Then we have the turning points, which is 2 and 8. And we know that it is a sad face. At the turning point 2 and 8, it is a sad face. Now let us plot. 2 and 8 means where 2 and 8 meet, there's a dot. It is a sad face. So it's good to put it in so you know, hey, I'm going this way. Sometimes that will show you that you have something wrong. Because if you have a sad face, but then your point is you're on top for y, it's incorrect. Now we've got 0 and 0. And then we have 4 and 0. So how does the graph go? It's a matter of joining the dots. Now, important, put in your coordinates. If you are asked to draw a graph and you don't have the coordinates, they can penalize you. Don't get bad habits now. You put in the coordinates. Whether you're doing a parabola graph, a hyperbola graph, wherever you can put in the coordinates, you must put it in. Thank you for watching.